بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله بعثه الله رحمة للعالمين بشيرا ونذيرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد uh, My dear brothers and sisters and especially the young people I am sure that most of the people they want to be successful in their life yes or no what do you think guys yeah. you want to be successful yeah. mashallah so what do you want to be the brothers on uh, this uh, life they might not appreciate what we are doing but i always like interactive interactive sessions yeah so uh, maybe the brothers uh, online we can ask them to maybe to answer the same thing they can ask questions yeah but they they see, see yeah. yeah they see that this is not done properly huh or yeah maybe this is put this behind it this is the best the best okay put this beneath it put something beneath that yeah yeah huh yeah it's small 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 thing so i am sure that let us see What did he do? Huh? He is putting. Yeah. He is putting a stop on the Quran. Games that are important. 
Yeah, so you were, uh, you chose to study engineering. Why? I enjoy it. You enjoy it. Excellent. And you study medicine. So why do you study medicine? Huh? You want to help people. Okay. This is truly, this is your motivation or? Yeah, 50-50. By the other doctor. Uh huh. Why did you choose this topic? Okay, so you want to study medicine to help your brother who has special needs. Excellent. And you? You enjoy it. You study IT because you enjoy it. And? Come on, now, don't just copy it, help other people. <laughs> How are you going to help other people by just... Uh, uh, you will develop applications. Yeah, okay, good. What about the young people here? Yes, so young people here, what do you study? A brother. Huh? What do you want to study? What do you want to be? Footballer. Yeah, tell the truth, man. You want to do Quran? Okay, Quran. You can be, you can study Quran while you are footballer. You can study Quran while you are an engineer. Okay. But I'm not here, your father. So don't worry. I will not yani, report you to your father. Okay. So I know that, mashallah, you are a good boy. You want to do it. Your help. What else? Accounting. Yeah. Why do you want to do accounting? 
your interest. Okay. By that young boy, he want to do forensic science. Oh, no. So why do you want to do forensic science? Interesting. Okay. Taib, this is a good sample. I do this exercise a lot. If almost every time I meet young people, this is a good sample. We did not ask everyone, but this is a very good sample. Now, have you noticed, my dear brothers and sisters, we, the sisters, we did not ask them. Yeah? Maybe we could have asked them, but there is no mind. Okay, we don't want to delay. They can maybe yeah, uh, interject and they can ask. Yeah, feel free, sisters, to ask any question. Yeah, interject, etc. So now, this is subhanAllah typical. Every time I meet young people, I do this survey. I ask them every single time. And most of the people, I can tell you between 70 to 80 percent of the people, of the young people, yes, they want to do something interesting, something they like. Yeah? And just a 20 percent of the people 20% of the people, this is very deep, brothers. This discussion, I'm just putting it in a, in a in this interactive, uh, what is it, jokey way, funny way, but it is so deep. Almost less than 20% of the people, of the young people, they want to study because they feel that they study will contribute in doing something positive. Yeah? And almost none, almost none have said that they want to study what should be studied. Yeah? Here we have just one brother. Okay, but he, yeah, and it is not very clear. Again, almost none who said that we want to study this, to be specialized in this, because this is what is needed, this is what I should do, this is the correct thing to do. Yeah, this is the right thing to do. In brief, I ask people, yeah, and this is, by the way, a fundamental question. And the humanity now is struggling to find, to navigate their way through this question. This question is, how do you judge what you need to do? Yeah, again, how do you judge what you need to do? This is a huge question. In fact, brothers and sisters, this is the main question that differentiates between Islam and Kufr or no Islam. Who decide, okay, for you what to do? You might say, I decide. Excellent. What is the criteria for you to decide what you want to decide? or what you want to do. What is the criteria? Agree? So let me ask you, Taib, let me ask you, young people, what is the criteria that judges what you should do? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Not sure. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Ba do something based on your knowledge. Excellent. Um, 
something that helps the world. Masha Allah, excellent. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Okay. Yes. Lawyer, Mr. Lawyer. Something that benefits the Ummah and hereafter. Now, come on. Is this the, the criteria that you use all the time or just you want to give us a good answer? The criteria that we should be using. Good. Now everyone will copy that because no one can oppose that. So no one can say, no, I want to. But in reality, I'm asking you, yeah, in reality, do we do what helps, as you said, what helps the Ummah and what benefits humanity? Do we do that? Yeah? Do we use... Sorry. Okay. Do we use this criteria all the time? No. Do we use this criteria most of the time? In reality, no. And to be honest with you, we use this criteria very, very few times. Most of the time we decide based on what we like, what we enjoy. Or let me go one step further. We decide either based on our desires, which is what we like, or uh -huh, what is the other criteria, the most prominent and the most, the strongest criteria that will influence people's decisions. Huh? No, no one is uh, listening to his parents now. Allah Huh? Money, which is a desire. A desire. So we said, the first criteria is what? The desires. Yeah? So you said money, desires. Agree? Yeah? Most of the people decide based on desires. The world now is driven by money or desires in fact to be honest with you there is another criteria a secondary criteria but it is a very influential criteria that supports this criteria which is as you said money or desires but it is a very influential criteria can anyone guess what that criteria is uh, power which is desires. Power is desires. Come on. Sisters, come on. Let me know. Yalla, come on. Yes. Huh? Status desire. Huh? No one decides based on his capabilities. Let us be realistic, man. Happiness. Okay. It is related to desires. Uh huh. Something popular, desires. Popularity is desires. Emotions. Emotions. Do you agree or not? Do you agree or not? Yeah? Emotions. Now, globally, this what controls, or these things what control the entire humanity. Emotions and desires. That's it. What should control humanity? What should control us as a human beings? Tell me. What do you think? What should be the, the criteria? Manners. Huh? Manners. Okay. 
من سو دونو جي اوف الله قران ان سنه دي صار ذا تيبيكال يعني انسرز ذات يو يعني جست سي ذيم اوكي جود بات يس اه humanity humanity is more emotional وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون اجري الله wants us to worship him but now human beings yeah they do things based on desires or emotions but the correct thing is this we have this young brother yes you young boy what do you think Come on, brothers, sisters, we should do things based on aql, 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 yeah, of course, from an Islamic perspective, aql is not limited here. Aql is connected between the brain and the heart. Yeah, this is the, so it's not intelligence, no, it's not intelligence, it's what? Aql, and the aql is a combination between two functions, the function of the brain and the function of the, the heart. We should do things based on aql. Do you agree with me or not? No, no, come on, you young boys, do you agree? Serious. Young boys here. Yeah. MashaAllah, mature adult senior brothers. What do you think? No, no, no. Do you agree or not? See, because many people say, no, you should study what you like. I said to them, no. Study or do anything else or anything in this life should be done based on what is yeah give me one word come on quick quick what is right yes or no young boys what do you think we should do things based on what we like or we should do things based on what is right what do you think? Both. Both? Okay, mashallah. What's your name? Ya Magdi. Ah, inta bta'a attash al gim. Ya Ustaz Magdi. Ah, ma haddish bi'arf al atta. Ana wallahi iftaqadt al lugha al arabiya wallahi. Yani ahyana ma'lish yani ahyana astaghfir Allah al azim. But anyway, al lugha al arabiya di al halawa bta'itha. حتى الشتيمة باللغة العربية لها معنى ثاني. أحيانا نفسي أشتم. استغفر الله العظيم. بس باللغة العربية عشان يكون لها يعني. Yes. Now our brother Majdi, sorry to say this, but he wants to be clever. So he said what? Both. Many people when you ask them, do you want this or that, they say both. They think that it is an easy answer, both. What about if there is a contradiction between what you like and what is right? So what should take precedence or what should be done? What do you think, young boys? If there is a contradiction between what is right and what you like? Huh? What do you think? Huh? You do. You should do what is right, even if it goes against what you like. Yes or no? I'm asking you, brother. If there is a contradiction between what is right and what you like, Doctor Abdullah, what do you do? How do you decide? Young boy here. Come on, don't say I don't know. Yes. What is right? 
but seriously, brothers and sisters upstairs, do we always do what is right and we leave what we like? This is the problem of humanity. This is the problem of humanity. Okay, I remember once being in one of the city they have, in one place actually not, they have a problem of drugs. And even the people who were attending the masjid, they have any yani, problem of drugs. And when I came to the masjid, there were many people, including some Maulanas, they were smoking. Yeah. I said, I respect the masjid, smoke outside. They said, it's makruh, you know, okay. I said, no problem, makruh, but do it, yani, not in front of the musallim. Yani. Anyway, so many people consume drugs, yeah? A big problem here in the, a big problem in the world. And now, most of those who are consuming drugs, they know that it is what? Huh? Wrong. Agree? But they still do it. Yes or no, young boys? Why? So they are doing what they... Young boys, they are doing what they... And they are not doing what is... Yes or no? Even akhlaq. قُلْ لِعِبَادِ يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَنْزَغُ بَيْنَهُمْ Allah Jalla Ala says, tell my slaves to do, to say what is better. Yani to, and as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, اتق الله حيث ما كنت و اتبع السيئة الحسنة تتمحها و خالق الناس بي خلق حسن. Yani treat people kindly. Now, do we see that all people treat each other kindly? What do you think? No. Why? Why? This is what is right. To treat people kindly. Smile, be generous, be forgiveness, uh, be forgiving, be tolerant. But in reality, most people, they don't act and they don't do what is right in terms of akhlaq, they act upon what? Not what they like in particular here. Uh -huh. Not desires, emotions. Here they act. So I became angry immediately. You know, uh, two weeks ago, I had the, my first clubhouse. Yeah? Uh, lecture. And do you know Clubhouse? Yeah, it is. Young people, they don't want to know it. They just know TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. This Clubhouse is one of those families. Yeah? You talk to people. It is like a radio station, but you talk to people. It is an application. Wallahi, at one point, unfortunately, they, they were yani, Arabs. In one minute, they started to fight. And all of them are doctors and some of them are politicians, some of them top people, senior people, 50 plus, or at least 40 something plus. Within one minute, they started to fight. I said, oh no, these, if they were in front of each other, they will do like what we see, you know, on YouTube, the, the, the Arab parliaments. Yeah? Ah, no, no, and then you saw it. Have you seen it? They immediately fight. Subhanallah. But once they calm down, all of them, they will admit that what? It was wrong. In fact, many of them, yeah, requested my uh, personal details to send an apology. Okay, why? You are a big doctor. Why do you put yourself in this situation where you need to apologize? Because they don't do what is right. 
Yeah, this is, by the way, I am summarizing the problem of humanity now. And it is very unfortunate that the international community, yeah, United Nations, and these international organizations, they are pushing people to do what? What they like. And what their emotions are telling them to do. They are not telling people to or pushing people to do what is right. right. This is my lesson. I want every single one of us to think about this. Am I doing what I like? Am I acting upon my emotions? Or I am doing what is right? Just remember that. Am I doing what I like? Or am I doing what is right? Simple. Like versus what? Right. right. They also use yani, other, another terminology. They say, is right might or is might right? Can someone repeat this? Come on, yeah. Yalla, Abdullah, Abdullah, Abdullah. Can you repeat that? Again, again. This is a big debate. Yeah? Is, yeah, might right or is right might? Does that make sense? Okay. Is what is right might? Or is what is might right? Does it make sense now? What is right? Is it might? Or mighty? Or might? Yeah. And it just because of yani, the rhythm. Mighty. Okay? What is right? Mighty. Yani, قوي. بنفسي. Yeah? Did you get that? Or if it is right then it is might or it is mighty or is it the other way around is it because it is might power then definitely it is right and now the world the world is acting upon what which one might right or right might which one Might is right. Yeah? This is how it is. This is how it is. And this is a huge problem. Yeah? 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 وَإِذَا الْفَقِيرُ قَالُوا كَذَبْتَ وَمَا نَطَقْتَ صَوَابًا وَإِذَا الْفَقِيرُ وَإِذَا تَكَلَّمَ وَإِذَا الْفَقِيرُ تَكَلَّمَ صَائِبًا I think قَالُوا كَذَبْتَ uh, وَمَا نَطَقْتَ صَوَابًا A huge problem. We as Muslims, my dear brothers, yeah, and sisters, see, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam summarized this. By saying, ليس الشديد بالسرعة. The strong person is not the one who is what? Physically strong, he overpowers anyone. Yeah? Are you following, young boy? But the Prophet ﷺ says, the shadid, the strong one, is who? Come on. Anyone knows the hadith? Is what? Alladhi, come on boys, come on guys, sisters, is the one who controls himself or herself when they are what? Angry. Subhanallah. 
The Prophet sallallahu here mentioned the three powers of human beings. What are the three powers of a human being? Uh -huh. Come on. Physical, excellent. Mental, excellent. And emotional. These are the three powers of a human being. Physical, mental, emotional. Which is the most important power? Physical? Physical? No. Emotional? See, everyone says yes. But in reality, no. The most important power is what? Mental. Because if you are, as we say in English, mental means you are insane, crazy, you don't think. <laughs> there is no benefit for your strength, your physical strength, nor there is a benefit for your emotions. In fact, your physical strength will harm you. Yes, boys? Okay. So what is the conclusion of the lesson today? Yes. Someone should summarize it. This is so important. This, if you understand it and act upon it, it will change your entire life. Yeah. Can someone summarize that, please? Yes. Excellent. So, in summary, in a very simple way, in two statements, do what is right, yeah, and don't do, okay, what you like, or don't just do what you like. This is better. So, do what is right, and don't just do what you like. Some people say, what about if what I like is right? Excellent. Sometimes what is right is what you like. Yeah? Yeah, and if, for example, uh, this color or that color, both are the same, both people are okay with it, both, then how do you decide? Go for what you like. Yeah, it is right. But you don't go for what you like because you like it. You go for what you like because it is right. Okay? You will do this? Everyone, everyone. Shall we start doing this? So, yalla, quickly. Sisters, you are not contributing. So, all of us together, we will do what is, yalla, everyone, everyone, we will do, I want someone to make it nasheed. <laughs> Who will make it as a nasheed? Yes, Abdullah. Make it as a nasheed, man. Yalla. No one? We will do what is right, and we don't do what we just like. -na 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 -na. Yeah, don't think that this is a joke. The whole world is struggling to find the solution for this conflict. Yep. Jazakumullah khairan. Is that okay? It's enough. More than enough. Bye. Any questions? Any question? Fadal Ustad. Waalaikum salam. About what, sorry?
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. How to, a parent is asking, how to guide our children to use, to choose what is right. See, the problem is, that's why I say this is so important. The problem is, from a very young age, we are what? Brainwashing our children. You like it, go for it. You like it, go for it. You like it, do it. Is this what you like? Do it. Like, 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 like. Even now, press like on the, not press right, press like. He, now he, he, he smiled now. Before that, he was not yet engaged. And then later on, after all of this years, just brainwashing them, indoctrinating them, like, 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 and then all of a sudden, no, right. It doesn't work like this. So, from the beginning, we should teach ourselves, teach everyone, right, 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 right. Yeah? Yes, young boy? Do you promise that you will do that? No. It's very difficult for him to say yes. Okay? So this is a very important thing. The other thing is, it is good to do some accountability. Oh, I chose this because I liked it. Was this the right choice? Oh, I think I made a mistake. So next time, without blaming yourself, yeah, without too much blame, next time I will what? Uh-huh, what's the word? Think about it properly. Yeah? And we should encourage ourselves, we should encourage everyone around us, we should encourage the entire humanity to what? think people now don't think that's why in the quran allah Jalla condemned those who do not think allah put self on those who what don't think yeah they don't think so Allah Jalla wa ala wants us to think. لو كنا نسمع أوهم نعقلوا. If we were listening and thinking. So we have a big battle now. And who is leading that battle? Unfortunately, yeah, the only people who are leading that battle is Muslims. Battle again is what? Uh huh. Tell me. Ya Rahmukallah. Say Ya Dikum Allah Yisrah Bara. Say May Allah guide you. Say Say Man. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. May Allah guide you. And. What's it? Yuslih Balakum give you tranquility or rectify rectify your condition. Remember that, yes? Yeah? Whenever you sleep, say Alhamdulillah. Then the person who heard you, he will say what? Ya Allah. And then you respond by saying what? Yahdikum Allah Yuslih Balakum. May Allah guide you and rectify your affairs. Okay, so now we have a big battle in the world and the leaders, actually you should say, we should say, who is going to lead this, there is no one to lead this battle against evil, against shaitan, against, except Muslims. This battle is what? Against what? 
against sidelining yeah against marginalizing against stopping what thinking this is the real battle in the world thinking versus what no thinking thinking yeah using using your aql doing what is right versus what no thinking versus desires following desires versus what following your emotions remember that yes inshallah inshallah we will win or we will lose no man say we will win yes we will what win don't get into any conflict any exam any a challenge while you are you know that you will what lose no get into any challenge any battle any conflict and say i will win and inshallah you will win jazakumullah khair yes questions we have a question from our sheikh now when the sheikh asks question he yani he is asking questions for educational purpose so he wants to teach us something yes ustad sheikh there are so many questions here man we did not look at them طيب like, leave them خلاص not me okay yeah um about what about thinking so you have a group of people who don't think they like you have a lot of people who do think but then there's another problem where everyone thinks they are right yes and and that causes disunity harms to the community so how do we solve the problem when they start thinking and they start thinking they're always right as well. Yeah, yeah. So, and the topic of thinking is so big. And uh, I think yesterday I have mentioned, touched on that, maybe another time we can talk about it, which is what many people think that they think, but in reality they don't think. Does that look nice? Again, what is it? Anyone, come on. Repeat it, please. Yalla, young boy. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, many people think that. Yalla, help him. Yalla, anyone. Many people think that they think, but in reality, they don't think. So, how to how to help them they say no we thought about it no you did not think about it or you thought about it wrongly you thought about it wrongly yeah you thought about it but unfortunately you came up with the wrong conclusion yeah so how to solve this problem number of points education education secondly mashwara consultation a lot of consultation number three sincerity because if you know that it is wrong and if you are a sincere person you will leave it you will abandon that number four self-control because if you do not control yourself, even if you know that it is wrong and you are sincere, you will what? You will do it again and again because you don't control yourself. Yeah? And number five, of course, there are many methods. Number five, ask Allah Jalla wa'ala, make dua. Always make dua that Allah Jalla wa'ala helps you. What? Allahumma arina al haqqa haqqan. Oh Allah, show us the haq as it is haq. Wa 
help us to follow it. Yeah? وَأَرِنَ الْبَاطِلَ بَاطِلَ Show us the bottle as it is bottle, falsehood. And وَرْزُقْنَا اِجْتِنَابَ Help us to avoid it. Okay, any other question? Yes? The? Yes. Yeah, do what is right. Okay, good. What is right in total? Okay, in total. For example, even yourself. Yeah? Um, let us, يعني, let us mention uh, a simple example. If you uh, uh, um, okay, if you invest ten pounds, you will get yeah fifty pounds. Simple. Now, if you invest ten pounds in the beginning, you have lost it, but the return is bigger. Yeah. So this is the rule. Now sometimes you might do something, it is, it is okay. But on the long run, it is what? Harmful. So for example, if you drive your car to catch an appointment, you might catch the appointment, but you might get number of tickets, you might hit someone, you might have an accident. So you need what? to decide based on the bigger picture. So sometimes looking at the micro picture might not give you that, might not help you to write, might not help you to take the right decision. So you need to look at the bigger picture. Does that make sense? Any other question? Yes. Yes. Did you get the comment of the brother? What is it? Can you repeat it, please? Uh huh. Louder, please. Yes. Allah. Say, MashaAllah. MashaAllah, very good boy. What's your name? Yes, we said, yeah, Ibrahim. So now, Ibrahim, stand up, yeah? And look at everyone, yeah? Raise your hands like this, yeah? Come on, raise your hands like this and say, you know, guys, look at them, look at them. Look at them, look at them, everyone. Yeah, tell them, so thank you for your support. Make sure that you, yeah, vote for me next time. Go ahead, man. Not to me, tell them. You don't want to do that. Five. Everyone say, MashaAllah. Well done, Ibrahim. So repeat it again, Ibrahim. Louder now, man, louder. Like a lion, man. Uh, if we do something we, that is right, and we don't like it at the start, if we do it again and again, we will like it. Eventually, you will like it. Very good point. Very good point. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. What do you do? Uh, your name? Abdurrahman, mashallah. A very lovely name. I'm, uh, I'm a senior software engineer. Senior software engineer. Allah. And 
I'm an engineer, but I don't, I didn't like it. Uh, no, I didn't like it, so it didn't work like this, do it, do it, do it, because I was not doing it. And then I divorced it. I did all, everything, divorce, the Alan Khuller, everything, just to get it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. Yeah, Majdi. Allah very Just for you, Sisters, if you have questions, where, where is it, man? Yes, brother, we have a question. Yes, sister. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Maybe some sisters, yani, which is, no, no, some sisters due to haya, they don't want to ask. So send your question by text message to the Sheikh. Jazakallah khair. If you, okay, what is your sister? Well, sorry, what is your question? The question is uh, related to uh, I like and what is right. Mm. Uh, I have a 20 year old son and he have few friends uh, who have long hair uh, who motivated my son as well to grow his hair a lot. Uh, so my son asked me, mommy, is it good in Islam as advice to grow his hair long? Uh, so I have no enough knowledge. Uh, it is right or uh, it is not right. So please, if you could uh, tell us today that what is right. This is what we like, but I'm not sure this is right or not. Mm. Thank you. Okay, but what is you, 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 Yani, you like that you want him to grow his hair or no? I don't want uh, him to grow his hair long like girls ah. because I think this is not right in Islam. Khalas, mm. if you think that this is not right, just tell him that this is not right. And it is not a big issue, and it's not يعني, a matter of يعني, he must do that or yeah. So tell them that no, when I see you, I think that you are not a boy, you are a girl, so it's better that yeah, you don't do it. So just tell him that if you feel okay, and let him take it easy, and he should not think that this is a big problem, I must do that. He should be tolerant, agree, and listen to his mom. Sure. It, yeah, well, see, it depends on number of factors, yeah, growing hair. And it is very unfortunate, many of the young people, yeah, they think that, oh, growing hair, this is sunnah, and they said what the Prophet ﷺ did it one time, and I don't know, Umar ibn al-Khattab and others, they were growing their hair. No, that was their culture. It is a cultural thing. So if in your culture is not something that yani, boys do, men do, then don't do it. Yeah? Okay. Let alone that it might be seen as tashabbu. And the Prophet ﷺ cursed those men who simulate what or imitate women and those women who imitate men so uh so it's not it should not be taken that oh yeah well what's wrong with that and uh, of course i don't know whether it is true that the prophet ﷺ used to have long hair like this sometimes but long hair like this do you know Yeah, uh, so uh, I don't know, it is not yani, really proven that the Prophet ﷺ used to have this long hair as yani, some of our brothers do, yeah? Okay, and even the Sahaba, I don't know whether that is true or not. Okay, yes. Yeah, as we said, it depends on number of factors, the motivation, the culture, the context. Yeah, if the motivation is to imitate some people, 
yeah, whom you should not imitate, then it is haram. Yeah? So if someone is imitating yani, uh, the opposite gender, if uh, the person is imitating مثلاً, a singer or uh, yani, a person who is known yani, for his uh, anti-Islamic activity, yeah? so he should not do that. And yeah, so this is the general ruling for that. Yani, it depends on the factor, but many factors, but it seems that it is not something that yani, we, we should be uh, uh, we, we should be practicing and adamant about it. Okay, any other question? We'll stop here. Yes, inshallah. We'll stop, yeah? Last question by our brother. But uh, you, I, am, I know that you will ask about mortgages and Islamic finance, and we will continue until Maghrib. Yes. So, um, you know how it works, you know? Yeah. And um, because Gangan House Okay, shared ownership. Again, if shared ownership, you share ownership. How does it work? You pay, for example, twenty percent of the price of the price of the property, and someone pays for the eighty percent. Okay, again, if there is a condition, as we mentioned yesterday. What was the condition? Huh? Allah. Excellent. That's why you are a lawyer. Man. <laughs> if the condition, yeah, if there is a stipulated condition that you must buy from them, then this is problematic. But, if they say you buy 20%, we buy 80%, and then slowly, slowly you increase your share, yeah, 25, 30, whatever. But if it happens that you are unable to continue what acquiring more shares, increasing your share, then that's fine. At one point, we might stop that you have bought 60% of the property and we are owning 40% of the, uh, of the property, we can continue forever like this, we are happy. Now, banks don't do that, as we said. However, housing associations, they do that. Councils, some councils, they do that. And now, by the grace of Allah, it is very strange. There are some non-Islamic organizations, just organizations, they do that. I don't want to, because we are like I don't want to mention some of them, but you can Google, Google it, yeah, shared ownership. If that is the condition, if that is there, which is that, yeah, they give you the choice whether you want to continue or not. Or if you fail to continue, okay, that's fine. They remain as your life partners in owning the property. Unfortunately, the Muslim or the Islamic banks they said, if you can't continue, uh huh. What do you do? Anyone has an idea? Ah, uh? no, not repositioning. They don't do that. Ah, uh? no. You must sell it to someone who can continue, which is eventually the same. Yeah, Ansar Finance, because they are doing the halal way. Yeah and they are more like a charity, it's not like a bank. Okay, you own 20%, I own 80%.
yeah you increase your share as a client at one point you decided not to purchase any more shares that's why they remain as your life partners wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam jazakallah Food has been prepared for everyone. Please, no one leave. There's a lot of food. Mashallah, Sheikh has come to Abedin. He's brought the nice weather, the sun with him. He's brought a lot of food with him, Mashallah. Uh, a lot of knowledge and, you know, a lot of experience. Mashallah. The Sheikh is probably fasting today. Or, huh? Are you going to join us, Sheikh? Yeah, I will join. Inshallah. Even if uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm not fasting. Okay. <laughs> You want Sorry. just to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> so inshallah, the sister's food is upstairs, inshallah, in the kitchen. It's prepared for all the uh, men, inshallah, downstairs in the basement. Jazakumullah khair, Sheikh. Um, for... Barakallah khair. And it's not over, Sheikh is here with us till tomorrow, uh, late afternoon, inshallah. So we have a program after Maghrib, Amit Masjid, inshallah. Please, you know, spread the word, try and attend, inshallah, after Maghrib, Amit Masjid. After Isha, the Sheikh will be here again, like last night, inshallah. We, he'll have an uh, informal gathering, Q&A like this, inshallah. Uh, we'll have some dessert, ice cream and stuff with the Sheikh, inshallah. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Healthy one. Inshallah. Yeah. I have, I have a question. But it's, it, it's, the Sheikh said it's finished, inshallah. We, um, I think the food's ready. It's good in the mind. Oh. Yes. Um, Wallahi, yes, sister, I did not say good food. So, don't <laughs> <understand>. <laughs> um, so inshallah... Yeah, you, you, it's something you can maybe email me, and when we have the session, inshallah, we can, he can, the chef can answer it. Inshallah. Which email is that? Imam at Masjid al Hikmah to all the UK, inshallah. Imam at Masjid al Hikmah. Or, yeah, or maybe, maybe yeah. just now she can. Yeah, we can go for food, but, and now she can yeah. come down and ask me personally. No, no problem. No yeah. problem just because of that. That's because right. of Brother Majid. Inshallah. See, men are very soft in front of women. <laughs> yeah? They cannot refuse. Yeah? When they... Yani imagine, huh? Overpower us. We are miskin in front of women. If they say, please... <laughs> khala. Yes or no? So, we agreed that... I'll send you an email, or did you say, I can ask you? Yeah, just ask the questions, then, Shalom, please. Okay, see? Oh, 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 oh
And out of the 1,000 who put one pound, two, three people win. So the game owner made what? 1,000 pounds. Did you get that? So when you pay money, you pay money to get something, not you get it or you don't get it. Is that clear? Are you? Yeah? And this is gambling and Allah Jalla wa Ala yani says inna al khamru wal maysiru wal ansabu inna al khamru wal maysiru wal ansabu wal azlamu rijsun min amal shaytani fajtaribu Ibn Abbas he said al maysir is the qimar yeah and this is qimar and the babit of the qimar is winning something out of luck or losing your money based on luck only. Yeah? The second question, the matter is flexible, sister, because as you have said, there is no clear proof against cutting the hair, yeah, for women. And it was reported that the wives of the Prophet ﷺ used to cut their hair, which means that it is not very long. Now, uh, in this context. Now, the key point here is that when you cut your hair, you don't intend to imitate those whom you should not intend, such as men and such as some yani, evil people. Okay? Uh, you should not intend that. The second, uh, the, the, the second, um, sorry, the second condition is when you cut it, you should not be identified as those, even if you do not intend it. So, someone, okay, a, a female might cut her hair too short. She did not intend to become like what? Uh, like the opposite gender. But anyone who sees her, oh, is she a female or a male? Is that clear? So you did not intend it, but you became like this, then this is problematic. Why? Because the Prophet says, Allah curses males who imitate females and those females who imitate males. Jazakumullah khairan. I hope that is clear, sister. Barakallah. Barakallah. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Just, just on that note, he, um, if you want to email myself, imam at masjidalhikmah.org.uk. If you have any questions, Sheikh is here with us on Sunday. We've got yeah. quite a few programs, so I can um, ask the Sheikh to uh, include it in any of the sessions as well, inshallah. And we um, have a session for sisters, just remind so, Yeah, that's right. Uh, we have a special uh, session tomorrow after Dhuhr at Masjid al-Hikmah, uh, just for sisters. So please, um, if you can... Uh, you know, tell the women folk at home, your friends, your sisters, your mothers to attend, or your daughters to attend tomorrow. Uh, and again, we'll have a special Q&A session just for the sisters um, after Dhuhr tomorrow. So please keep that in mind. Again, the email is imam at masjidhikmah.org.uk for any questions. For those brothers who have my number, they can again contact me directly, inshallah. Um, and the chef will be here with us tomorrow. So I was mentioning tonight, after Nabi Amit Masjid, after Isha here at Masjidhikmah, Tomorrow, inshallah, again after Dhuhr, we have the sister, special sister, sisters program and we have the QA, inshallah, after Dhuhr as well. And uh, Jazakallah.